What's up guys, how we doing and welcome back to another YouTube video. So quick update for myself, I've just entered the mini cut, um, I'm going to put a few pictures of my physique up right now. So on Monday when I started my cut I was 95 kilos, um, today is Thursday and I'm just below 94. A lot of that weight is probably water weight, um, I expected that kind of first initial drop. So how long am I going to mini cut for? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, a minimum of three weeks, maybe four. Um, it's going to be a nice kind of lead up before Christmas. And just kind of, I've got to the point now where my physique is kind of where I want it to be. Um, but if I push with colors anymore, it's just going to be a bit silly. So I'm just going to strip back a little bit and, um, and then go from there. So before I go into the main subject of today's video, I'm going to skip forward to tomorrow. Um, I'm training with a guy called Evan. He's 19 years old. Uh, he's got a credible physique, uh, a big future in front of him. So uh, we're going to do a push session. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. So a question I get so often is, you know, how can I lose weight? Whether it's uh, clients, people that I meet for the first time, family, friends, it's the kind of million dollar question. Like, what can I do in my day to day life to lose weight? Can I take this? Can I take that? And it's a question that perhaps can be made more difficult than what it actually is. So for myself, there are three things that I think that you should be doing that perhaps you're not doing in order to kind of lose that body weight that you want. So like any problem in the world, you know, you can have a quick fix. You can kind of 
put a bit of cellar tape over something if, if something's broken, but it's not gonna fix the overall kind of problem as such. For me, it's so important to look at what you're doing in your, your daily habits, um, things that you're doing on a consistent basis that perhaps aren't in line with your, your fitness goals. So if you break down what you're doing every single day um, and work out perhaps what's not as positive as others and kind of readdress that. It's a bit like a spillage. So for example, if you were to spill something, you can go and, and wipe it off the floor, but then you haven't actually kind of fixed the, the reason it spilled in the first place if something was broken or, or things like that. So that's perhaps what I would do. So the second point that I like to make is looking at kind of the bigger picture rather than the smaller details. You know, a lot of people kind of obsess over uh, supplements, the right time to eat, the right carbohydrates to eat. They're very minor in terms of the actual bigger picture. So if you consume more calories in than you're expending out, then you're gonna be putting on weight. And that's not to say you need to drop your calories really, really low. If you like your food like myself and, and many other my clients do and they, they like what they eat and and things like that. We just focus on, you know, expending more energy, so being more active. I'm not just talking about cardio sessions, I'm talking, you know, daily activity, extra steps in, trying to get 10,000 steps in each day. It all kind of adds up. And it's exactly the same with your fitness goals. If you're kind of doing something just for a couple of days and then you go under the radar for a couple of months and then pick it back up, you know, you're not really gonna get anywhere. You don't have to be focused on, on your gym goals every single day. You don't have to think, oh, I've got to get in the gym every day, you know, look at it as like a weekly volume. So if you're going sort of three, four, five times a week, keep that consistent. Tell yourself, I'm gonna go Monday, uh, Friday, Saturday, every single week. If something comes up on the Saturday, change it for a different day. So those people that are quite successful and, and achieve their goals, they're the ones that are the most consistent. They've been doing it day in, day out for um, so many months. And there's a lot that goes into it rather than just that kind of one hour at the gym or that one meal. There's not kind of one good meal or one good gym session. It's, it's months and months of hard work on a consistent basis. So there are my three reasons why you're perhaps not losing weight and three reasons to kind of consider to, if you want to kind of reach a goal, this is what I kind of like implement into, into yourself. So the basics get really overlooked, but they're the most important ones. They're the fundamental. They're the principles that that you really got to kind of nail and, and, and focus on. If you can kind of get those right, then, then everything else will follow. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, fucking hell.